Hello, my dear. Today we will have this really awful quality of my video, but only for a few minutes. It's my manifest, my manifest against deceptive patterns. What is mean deceptive patterns? Deceptive patterns, also known as dark patterns, are tricks used in websites and apps that make you do things that you didn't mean to do. For example, buying something or signing up for something, or if you want to change your decision, it's really hard. And how to spot and how to avoid dark patterns. Today, we will talk about it and we have a special expert. Please welcome yes, my assistant. Like you know, he's an expert about darkness. Stay with me and I hope it will be useful and helpful for you. The dark side of the force is calling you. Amazon, how to close account four years later. Okay, and do you have an idea? how to close your account on Amazon. In the past, it was this secret place, help. And it took a lot of efforts if you want to close your account. And today, what do you think? It will be better or maybe different or maybe that same situation. I will start with account. And like you see, you have your account, your orders, login and security, Prime, your payments, your profiles, your list, and of course you have customer service. If you want to start with login and security, for example, nothing. And if you want to start with customer service, wow, you have much more option. Okay, and what do you think? We will try with something else. Okay, and sorry, it's only about return a gift. Okay, but we never give up and we will try them. Okay, and right now yeah, we have closed my account. Close my account, learn about and I need more help. Okay, how much time do you need to close your account? I think it will be your lifetime. Okay. How would you like to get help? Like you see, it's really hard to close account on Amazon. It's really easy to do. Right now you see my proposal. Welcome to Roach Motel. You get into a situation very easily, but then you find it's hard to get out of it. For example, subscription. Most business models have focused on self-interest instead of user experience. How does deceptive design work? When you use websites and apps, you don't read every word on every page. You skim read and make assumptions. If a company wants to trick you into doing something, they can take advantage of this by making a page look like it's saying one thing when it's in fact saying another. You can defend yourself by learning about deceptive design. In 2010, Harry Brignall, he's an independent user experience consultant coined the term and runs a website dedicated to uncovering deceptive design, also known as dark patterns. Who use deceptive design? Companies use dark patterns because they work in the short term. Dark patterns ultimately don't work in the long term because they destroy customer loyalty. Deceptive design is a rapidly growing area of research in the fields of human-computer interaction and law. Types of deceptive design 
It's so many, but something what you probably know it's misdirection. The design purposefully focuses your attention on one thing in order to distract your attention from another. Hidden costs. You get to the last step of the checkout process only to discover some unexpected charges have appeared. Example, delivery charges, tax, etc. Bait and switch. You set out to do one thing, but a different, undesirable thing happens instead. Confirm shaming. The act of guilting the user into opting into something. The option to decline is worded in such a way as to shame the user into compliance. For example, an e-commerce site may offer a discount on a user's first order in exchange for their email address. If the user doesn't want to share their email address, they have to click on an option that says something like No, thank you. I don't like saving money. Okay, and what do we need? I think we need more transparent choices. Thank you so much. Take care and avoid dark patterns and deceptive design.